In this video on C Sharp Basics, we're going to take a look at creating a class. We're going to cover topics such as using the Add New Item dialog window to create a class. We're also going to see how to give your class a name. We're going to understand where your class is, and this is not just where it's located within the Solution Explorer window, but also we're going to talk about namespaces. Then we're also going to take a look at what the using statements that are at the top of our classes are for. So let's hop in and do a demonstration. So here we are back at our Visual Studio window, and I'm going to go up to the basic.course project and right click and then select add and create a new folder, just like we've done all of the previous demonstrations. Now I'm going to go ahead and name this folder creating a class. Now in the past demonstrations, we've simply gone into one of the other folders and copied the program.cs file and then pasted it inside of this new folder. But we're gonna do something a little different here in this demonstration. Instead, what we're gonna go ahead and do is right click on the new folder, select add, and then from here, you'll have a couple of different options. You can either select new item or you can go all the way down here to class. Let me go ahead and just walk you through real fast the new item selection. So I'm going to go ahead and click on new item. And then the add new item window, you'll see that we get an entire selection of all of these different visual C sharp items. And these all belong to the visual C sharp items catalog. Then of course there are subdirectories. So we have code, data, general, web, windows, forms, WPF, etc. The one that we're looking after here is the code. The code subfolder is where we're going to find the class item. So let's go ahead and select class. And I'm going to go down here to the name and I'm going to change this to just my class. So this is going to be the actual name of my class that's going to get created. Then I'll click on the add button. And you'll see that now I have a new class that's been created. So let's examine our new class a little bit. First, we can see that the name of the class file is myclass.cs. This is an actual file that exists now on your hard drive, and it's under a subfolder called creating a class. So our new class file has been created and organized according to how we've selected it here on the Solution Explorer. If we look over here into the code window, we'll see that we have a new class called myclass, and here we have the scope, the open and closed bracket of our my class class. You'll also notice that this class called my class was created inside of this namespace called basic.course.creatingaclass. So Visual Studio automatically recognized that this folder creating a class should actually be a part of the namespace. Now, in case you haven't figured out yet, namespaces are a way for us to organize our class objects into different categories. This really helps us organize our classes into logical units. One other thing to take note of are all of these using statements up above here. And we haven't dived into what using statements are, but here's a brief little primer of what they mean. A using statement is nothing more than a director, a pointer, if you will, to another namespace that's out there somewhere either in your application or somewhere in the .NET framework. So when we say using system, system is actually a namespace in the .NET framework. By including this using statement, you're telling this my class class object that it can reference any of the objects inside of the system namespace. Now the using statement is not required in any way. In fact, I could completely remove these items altogether. By removing all of the using statements though, what we end up with is a lot of extra typing whenever we need to access one of those classes. Just as a quick little demonstration, I'm gonna go inside of my class called my class, and I'm gonna go ahead and reference the system namespace and you can see I can drill down using the dot notation to find, say for example, the activator class. 
Now I'm not going to get into what the activator class is. I just want you to see that you can still access all of those same items that were inside of the using namespaces. You just have to type a bit more in order to get to them. I'm going to go ahead and take out the system activator statement. And in fact, I'm just going to go ahead and back up all the way to include those using statements once again. All right, so there we go. Here is my class with all of my using statements. So at this point, we've created our my class class object. We've put it inside of the namespace that we wanted called creating a class. And we have all of the using statements that come by default when we first create our class.